Virginia here with Jenny Lee Gems. I had someone asking me again how I mark my basket bottoms. So I used to measure them all out and mark them. Now I just kind of eyeball it. My husband used to have a little tool that you can measure whatever you wanted on it and it would stay stationary. And I'd follow it all along and mark it. It's too much work. So I know what a quarter of an inch is. I try to do all of my basket bottoms about a quarter of an inch apart on the holes. So this is what about a quarter of an inch looks like. Now, if it's a different type of bottom that necessarily you don't need them that close together, these are a little bit further apart, about half an inch. because I know there's gonna be enough stability with this amount of holes. So I don't count the holes, I just eyeball it now and mark them. So I use a Sharpie permanent marker. I've tried other markers. You can't use a dry erase marker because then when you touch it and you're drilling it, it marks it off. So these, are, these stay on long enough and they don't smear that you can get them drilled. Now when you get ready to take them off, you can use nail polish remover. Just get a little piece of cotton or paper towel or something and use nail polish remover to take it off. So I mark a bunch, I drill a bunch, and then I clean them all off with either alcohol or nail polish remover. So here we go. These are gonna be a different bottom. They're not gonna be a half inch apart because I have a different idea of what I'm gonna do with them. But I'll just show you. So I kind of eyeball it. I know I want one in each tip of the flowers. And this is a large marker, but it's fine chisel point. So you just need a little black dot. I just kind of eyeball it right in the middle. And I'm going fast, but I'm going to double check it. So I'm about a quarter of an inch away from the edge. Now you can drill closer if you want, but I don't take any chances on my drilling. I, especially if you're doing agate slices. So I just want the hills, the holes drilled very close to the edge. Now see, this isn't gonna smear. You could touch it right now, it dries really quick. Other types of markers smear. So that's what I want for this. Now I'll hold it back and I'll look at it and see if anything's off. If anything's off to my eye, I'm gonna go ahead and wipe it off and start over. So here's just a regular round bottom that I started drilling and I did it, or I'm sorry, that I started marking and I did it freehand as well. So I'm doing it from this backside because it's clear and you can see clear. You wanna be able to see through. So I'm just going about a quarter of an inch all the way around. And you see I have a, um, a cloth underneath. It's like a little jewelry cloth that I use when I'm doing beading. I do that so that I could see clear through and see, just get a better eyeball view of it. So I just sit and mark them all. I'll mark a whole group of them. I drill in groups, I resin in groups and I mark in groups. Because if you're pulling the equipment out to do stuff, you know, you might as well do a bunch of them. So see, it's all marked. Then when I go outside to drill, I can just use my drill press and pull down. So now here's a little small hams of hand I did. So this is a small basket. I'm not worried about it being attached a lot of places. So I'll probably go about a half inch, just eyeballing it. And I'm going about a quarter of an inch away from the outside, but you could do it how you feel comfortable. Um, you have to be aware 
when you have something that's this close to the edge, you got to go pretty slow drilling because you don't want to hit the, this is the clay bottom, and you don't want to hit what's in the center. And again, with agates, you have to be very careful because it could crack. Okay, thanks for watching. So say if you don't like the way this was marked, you've eyeballed it and you see something's off or you decide you want to make the holes closer together, further apart, whatever. You just don't like it, so you want to remove it. Take the polish remover on a rag. Just want to show you how this works. Takes it right off, just like that. So after you've drilled, you might have a little remnant of the marker on it. And you can go back and just take it off that way with the polish remover. So pretty much any surface takes it right off. But look how quick it dries. It's not smearing. I've used some other markers and it just doesn't work well. So hope that helps. Can't wait to get these drilled, but I don't have time right now. So I hope you like this little video and I hope it helps. I'm looking forward to making more for you. Make sure to subscribe and like. Thanks a lot.